The sting of the box jellyfish is extremely painful and can be fatal. Researchers at the University of Hawaii at Manoa have developed an innovative array of experiments to test first aid measures for box jellyfish stings. UH researcher Angel Yanagihara and postdoctoral fellow Christy Wilcox recently published research utilizing an innovative model comprised of human red blood cells suspended in an agarose gel and covered with a mock skin. We've developed a model when we apply it, the tentacle to our little slab of blood agarose with a skin on it, it spontaneously stings that skin just indecipherably different from a, the sting of a human being. So this is the first time a model has been developed with what we consider to be all these ideal attributes. The hope is that researchers around the world will follow the protocol and add their input to the project. Yanagihara's research shows some tried and true remedies are still the best, and not just for box jellyfish, but all jellyfish, including the Portuguese man of war. So what works, um, basically vinegar we found is an absolute, robust and solid, reproducible way to inactivate tentacles and the stinging cells that haven't discharged but are left on the skin. So we recommend that as the first course, um, douse the area with vinegar. Yanagihara says these studies show that after rinsing with vinegar, the next important step is immersion in hot water. Yanagihara's work has advanced beyond the basic approaches. With the aid of Department of Defense funding, she has developed a vinegar and urea-based spray and a cream with proprietary active agents called Sting No More. These products were recently commercialized for public use. Up next, finding ways to inhibit other agents in jellyfish venom. So there's a, a complex um, biochemical puzzle that comprises jellyfish stings, and we're, we're looking at, at various levels of that.